So supermodel Paulina Poroskova was one of the biggest supermodels of the 1980s and 90s. And she admits that she's having a tough time dealing with getting older. Take a look. I used to go, oh, you know, I can't believe that everybody's injecting themselves and changing the way they look. And now I think, no, you know what? It's really freaking hard to be a woman. Mm -hmm. And it's really freaking hard to be a woman over 50 because we get, we really get dismissed from the table. We have like a weird sort of period between your J-Lo looking fabulous and then Betty White. And there's kind of like a dead zone between the two. Okay, I think Betty White looks fabulous. I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah. I sort of get what she's saying, I guess. I mean, I am just happy I'm healthy and alive. And I think that just happened since my dad passed. I'm much more grateful and present for my yeah. health. Mm -hmm. But I will say, and I hope this doesn't come across arrogant in any way, but I think I'm really good at talking about politics. It's the only thing I think I'm really good at. And I would like to talk about politics and not have every comment be about the way I look and my weight. Mm -hmm. And it makes you feel weird. And men just don't have that problem. Everyone talks about how we look on this show all the time. Yeah. Can't you just hear what we have to <laughs> I'm say? I'm not sure so Chris Christie would thing. agree. <laughs> or Mike Bloomberg uh, would agree. Or Donald Trump would agree. I'm sorry, there's <laughs> no way Mike Bloomberg in any way has experienced the kind of stuff I've experienced and all the women on the show have experienced in any way on social media. That being said, I think that getting older is great. And there's lots of gorgeous, beautiful women, and I just don't have a chance to complain about it. You're 50. The alternative I, I'm is not I'm 51 now. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean. That's the thing. You know, it, yeah. Any age is a bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, that actually made me concerned, you know? because, you know, she said, well, after 50, you know, there's this dead zone. And I'm thinking, well, I'm 51. I'll be 52 this year. Well, thank you. I'll be 52 <laughs> this year. And I was like, well, wh what does that mean? That means is The dead life, zone is life, in your life mind. Life over? Yeah. Like, it's I feel vibrant. Mind. I feel better than yeah, I felt I think in a you're, long I think time. you're a lot closer to J-Lo. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, on, on her but, pendulum. Yeah, I don't understand um, well, I, this look, dead zone. It, but it, it's a state of it's mind, how too. Well, yeah, you know, it's how people see themselves. Now, yeah. for her, maybe she's saying, you know, people thought I was more interesting when I was in my 20s and 30s. That may be so. She's a you never know. Well, you're yes, not gorgeous. She, she, being gorgeous, see, doesn't necessitate that people see you that way. Mm -hmm. If you don't see yourself as gorgeous, yeah. no yeah. one else is going to. Yeah. So see, she still, yeah. she doesn't realize. Yeah. She looks great. She looks great. She looks great and she looks healthy and she's alive. Listen, you want to put fillers in your face? I got friends who fill the face all the time. <laughs> you know, sometimes it looks good and sometimes it doesn't. So if you're <laughs> not sure, just have them do your elbow. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not, because if you can tighten up in here, uh, you'll see how you feel. Because you, you don't want to put it on here, and it's a mistake. <laughs> right, because you, you got Botox no sleeves. Your There's no That's sleeves right. that can cover your face. Right your here. Arm? Yeah, you can. Really? It, well, just tighten up to oh. see how it looks. Otherwise, you look like this. <laughs>